right, you're about to watch a video of Dell Big Tree uh, talking about our present day situation as it is, using metaphor. And when I was watching it, it was something that I definitely knew and understood. But hearing him say it put a chill down my spine because hearing somebody else say what you're thinking uh, really kind of solidifies what you're thinking. And his analogy, his metaphor is, is much better than anything that I've heard to date. So let's take a listen to it. I, I picture myself like crouching down in this tall grass and I start seeing like these Nazis marching on a dirt road. Mm. And then I hear tanks and the rumbling of the tank wheels on the dirt road and the side-by-side -side motor, you know, motorcycles. As though, like, you know, all the images I got from movies. And I'm crouching down on the grass hiding. And right when I imagine that all of the footsteps, everything going to disappear in the distance, they didn't. I started hearing them crunching through the sticks and the leaves all around me. And I realized they knew I was there. They were surrounding me. And I'm on the phone with my dad. All of this hits me. And I said, Dad, you also made a statement when we were growing up. You would say to us, you know, if anyone ever abducts you, if you ever grabbed and yanked into a car. I remember he started this when I was like three years old. He said, you take your first opportunity. You kick, you scream, you break, whatever it takes. But you give everything you've got at escaping. And he would say, do you hear me? Did you hear what I said? I said, yeah, take your best opportunity when you can escape. He's like, no. I didn't say your best opportunity. I said your first opportunity. There is a difference. You must realize, he said, we were taught, my dad was in the army. So we were taught that the longer the, the, your opponent, the longer they have you, yeah. the better they have you. Yeah. The moment you realize you're had, you've got to get out as quickly as you can. I said, similarly, dad, we are fucking surrounded. Yeah. All the problems that we said at the beginning of this, of, of this conversation are coming at us from all sides. They know where we live. They're tracking every damn thing we're doing. And so to all those people that are afraid to stand for the truth, afraid of what's going to happen, I want to say to you, you are surrounded. You are kneeling down in grass as though somehow if I don't talk about it, this is all going to go away. It's not going away. They're moving in from every direction. So the only thing an intelligent person does in that moment is doesn't continue to hide because the inevitable outcome is only they have you, you're imprisoned, and everything you dreamed about the future of your life is gone. The moment you realize that is what you're living in, you stand up in that grass, you take a moment to look at what's coming at you, you find the weakest part of that circle, you charge it, and you fight with everything you've got. And that's how I deal with this. I don't care what people see, say to me. I realize the moment I'm living in. Yeah. I'm living in the most important moment humanity has ever had. Everything our founding fathers fought for, all their, their life at risk. How do they do that? How does George Washington cross the Potomac when they're dying of smallpox and their toes are falling off? I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how. Because he realizes if he doesn't, he's fucked. Anyway, so why not give it everything you have? Yeah. So there you have it. And the walls are closing in on us. And if you listen to what he's saying and you put yourself in that make-believe situation that he's describing, you know, in the tall grass surrounded by the enemy, uh, if you or anybody was in that situation, you would know you have to fight like all hell. What is happening is the powers that be that are closing the walls in on us have lulled us to sleep, okay? And we think it'll just go away. We think it's not going to get that bad. We think it's just our imagination, okay? And meanwhile, the walls get closer and closer and closer. So it's the, uh, you know, the, the crab being boiled in the pot analogy where you put a crab in and you turn on the flame and you just turn it up turn the heat up slowly and the crab doesn't even know it's about to be boiled to death and it just happens so uh that's the magnitude of the situation and i think del big tree sums it up perfectly by the way that was on the aubrey marcus podcast so if you want to see the whole thing it's a little under two hours long it's actually um 
really good. It's really good. Uh, Del Big Tree is quite a leader, and um, you know you should follow him. And if you don't already, and you should follow Aubrey Mar Marcus, especially nowadays because he's charging headlong into this uh, fight himself. So uh, these people need support.